Hey guys, so a new firmware update is now available for AirPods. Firmware update 6F21 is now available for AirPods second generation, the AirPods third generation, the AirPods Pro first generation, and the AirPods Max with Lightning. So the AirPods Max first generation as well. Now in this video, we're gonna go over what's new or what's actually been improved because Apple mentions that with the latest firmware update, according to the release notes, as per usual, this one brings bug fixes and other improvements. Now I've been testing multiple AirPods over the past 24 hours and I've noticed two issues that were addressed here. So we're gonna dive into that here in just a few seconds. For those that may be new to AirPods, I wanna talk about how you can update your AirPods right now. So you wanna make sure that your AirPods are paired to your iPhone. Let them sit next to each other while they're connected to a power source for about 15 minutes and they should update automatically. And again, if you go into your AirPods settings, scroll down, you'll find the latest number right there it is. Again, that's gonna be the latest update 6F to one. So let's talk about what are some of the bug fixes and improvements with the latest AirPods firmware update. So the first issue I want to talk about is temporary audio sharing. This is a feature that allows you to pair any additional pair of AirPods to share audio from your iPhone with someone else. So if you're watching a movie, for example, someone else can connect their AirPods temporarily and they can watch the movie with you on your iPhone next to you. Well, I had issues with this specific feature on AirPods Pro first generation. It just wouldn't pair. I would press the button on the back and it would take forever. It was clunky. The experience was not fun. It would take forever. But the latest firmware update has made this experience for me or this feature for me a lot seamless and better to use. So I'm happy to report that audio sharing, at least based on my usage and experience, has been improved with the latest AirPods firmware update. Now, something else that I've noticed has been improved for me in AirPods third generation is that in even other AirPods would show the incorrect battery percentage on AirPods and sometimes even the AirPods cases. So I haven't noticed any issues with the AirPods showing the incorrect battery percentage. This time around, I've been using again the latest firmware here for a little over 24 hours. And it appears that, you know, if you had issues with your AirPods showing that one AirPod was dead and the other one wasn't when it was really both AirPods have power, then this issue could have been resolved for you as well. So let me know in those comments down below if you already run the latest firmware update for AirPods. And if you had this issue, has it been addressed for you? I would like to know in those comments down below. So, so far again, Apple does not specify exactly what it is that they're fixing, but based on my experience, battery percentage, incorrect battery percentage issues have been addressed and the audio sharing pairing process has been improved and now connects properly. And that is the latest changes, actually bug fixes happening with the latest AirPods firmware update 6F21. I highly recommend everyone to update their AirPods right now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.